Welcome back to the Forensic Detailing Channel, guys. Do not forget to subscribe. Today, I am kind of chillaxing and I am just polishing very rapidly my uh, BMW M4 CS. Um, the front of it is done. Uh, the other side is done. The roof on the other side is done. And the boot lid is done. So really, all I've got to do is that side of the roof... Um, along there, the door and the rear quarter panel, um, and that'll do. I'm not going to do the seals, I think, you know. Well, the only reason I'm not going hell for leather as well is I've got a track day coming. So I'm just really giving it a quick five minute, well, 60 minute gloss up. And I'm using 3D Speed, which you'll have heard about on the um, channel. Really nice... Um, all-in-one polish with Montan wax. Just really enjoying using it, actually. Really nice, it's glossy as hell, this stuff. That's why I'm putting it on. <laughs> I'm not working the cut too much. I've got soft finishing pads, and I'm really just using these to spread the polish. I'm also really digging this, um, um, oh, this dispenser, <laughs> because you can put little strips down, which I'm just experimenting with, with really thin strips, okay? Not like thick, dollops just really thin strips that seems to work quite well i've never really done that but why not because you're getting a line going all the way over the pad aren't you um there so um yeah it just seems to work it doesn't we've done quite a few sets and it's not like gumming up in the pad probably because i'm not it's very soft and i'm working it very gently um and I'm just working incredibly rapid. We should probably fold those mirrors in. Just, um, make our lives a bit easier. Oh, it's not gonna work, is it? Oh yeah, it's okay. Good. Uh, is that gonna make our lives easier? Yeah, a little bit. And then um, I've got my torch. I've got my brush and I've got some cloths and that's it, that's it really. I'm not really, um, at some point I'll do like a longer polish on this car, but probably only with a finishing polish because I want to really preserve the clear coat on it. Um, which sounds a bit silly, but I'm not too worried about the swirls. They're quite hard to see, you know, so I don't ever really see them unless it's out in sunlight. And I just, I'm happy with the car just looking kind of clean and glossy to a certain standard. You know, as long as I've got a bit of dressing on the tyres. Um, you know, that's it really, that does me. So, let's put this over here and we can chat. Hopefully you can get a good view. The audio will go a bit quiet, but never mind. Just gives you an idea of what I'm doing. So I'll break this door down into half. You know, I suppose you could even, if you really want to save time, you, you don't even have to dab this out, you know. But this is a, I'm not kind of, there's polish in here. You know, a good cut single stage polish. So it's nice to give it a little bit of a working just to get the gloss back on the panel so it's not just all wax, if you know what I mean. So we should put a bit down there and we'll get under that. Or even there. You know, it's, you always get more polish where you start. And this is really too big an area to polish properly, isn't it? You'd cut this down into two sections and go a bit slower, but that's not the only game here. Um, I'm just going to stay at speed five as well. Work out the film very quickly.
that's it really. Hmm. Nice to tell. You just take that cloth and clear that pad out in a second. Yeah. You don't get like a dry haze of this as I talked about in the video. It's kind of got a pretty decent buff. It's a medium buff. There's a good oiliness to this product, but you can see it's not like just go over it once. It's nearly there, but it's just a light buff. You will pick up, you know, you do need to flip cloths a lot because it's quite oily and it will, you know, eventually your cloth becomes like an applicator. So you flip a lot, but that's why I have a lot of microfiber cloths, but the buff is good. Um, just, just little gentle circles. It's like to get the edge. <laughs> Don't know why. Because that's the bit you can miss once that edge is the majority up from the edge. You know you're in good stead. There we go. I just make sure I give that give it a flip and get a nice clean side. And that just eliminates the risk of the old footprints when we get the light on it. We might see some little greasy patches that we've missed. So, you know, we have good paint. Ooh, I can see a swirl there. Well, no, I can't. No, it's not a swirl. It looks like a swirl, but it wasn't a swirl. Oh, yes, it was. I don't know. You tell me. Generally, we're pretty good. The edges <coughs> would be the area where we haven't worked. We still, You still get a tiny bit of lift with the force rotation, but the edges are usually pretty good. Um, with this so you know how you know I'm happy with this level on my paint uh, I think it's not perfect am I seeing something there I think the, the lines are off the foam but sometimes it looks like there's a little swirl uh, but who cares there will be there will be marks in this paint um, but that's just the level and the main thing is, we don't leave any... Oh, look, there, so I've left a patch of product right on the edge there. That's why this light's handy, and down on the lower skirt where I've overcrossed it. So without that light, we wouldn't see it. And there's a little group of swirls there. But again, I'm not too worried about that. So let's just buff that edge out. Buff that skirt out. You probably need to get the car when you're finished. Get it outside in the light as well and just walk around it with some detail spray and uh, get any bits that you miss because it's very easy to put a little mark there. It's a bit like leaving a high spot when you're doing a ceramic coating. Very easily done, no matter what they say. It's not about not putting them in. It's about just making sure you, you spot them, as it were. So there you go. I'll probably even go a bit quicker than I just did there. Just finish off the top and all those little other bits and then the car will re look really nice. Just love the look of this product. It's the first time I put it down on this wing here, I was looking at it thinking, Jesus, that looks good. And after overnight, it really slicks up as well. It probably dries fully. But yeah, it's a really good product. You can probably see it even in the camera. So that's all done down there looking good the roof has actually got some three different hair wires on it i won't bother going over those from from the test so, so the roof's okay yeah i'd love it gonna have a bit of dusting from on the glass from uh, messing around I, I did the rear spoiler as well the whatever you want to call it boot lid spoiler so you can see that jet in the way, which is quite nice. One day I should really get tape up all properly and then go over this. Because if I get the light on there, these are, these are a bit swirly. But never mind. Depends whatever levels you want and what, what you want to do with your car. This car, I'm determined not to get too kind of over the top with it and just enjoy it and rag it around in it. Because if I spend like three or four days you know, cutting and um, refining the paint, 
I'll get so precious about the car, I won't want to take it out of the garage, which is what happened to some of the other ones. Um, yeah, and I just don't want to get to that stage. I finished my A All in One AIO video. I have Young Master Reg coming around soon to give me his verdict on those. I'm doing some more testing on these that I keep talking about. So the video is in progress with this. It's in progress. Um, so just got to hang on. And uh, every opportunity I can, I'm trying to use different products. I've had a go with all of them. I've got a few that I think are quite good, quite nifty. I got a few that I've got to give second chances to and try again. Um, and we've got to move on to doing our testing with our test glass. Maybe even might start that today, but possibly not. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be really, really interesting and really difficult as well. It's going to be very, well, I don't know if it's going to be subjective. It's going to be belt and braces, people's opinions on which ones they'd like, and my opinion on which ones I think are the best. A little bit of testing, looking at value. Because that's the big thing you can't debate, can you? If one costs £2 and one costs £20, then is the other one 10 times as good? If not, how much many more times extra are you prepared to pay for a tiny increase in performance? You know, that's the sort of bit that varies, isn't it, between, uh, between stuff. Um, yeah, so really interesting... I might do some might do some reviews on some of these waxes at some point. I've already covered them. I've got to give that bit back to Imran. If, Imran, if you're watching, don't worry. I'm not using it. Well, I might use it once. <laughs> um, but I'll get it back to you at some point. It might be good to do a video on it because it's a Zymal, isn't it? It's a special Zymal, special kind of thing. Here's the pad after using the uh, HD. It's nice. It stays kind of wet and oily, so you don't have to rush like to get it into water but you definitely don't want to let that dry because you'll never get that wax out so but i'm going to carry on with these two pads and they'll be fine um yeah so the 3d speed awesome product i'm gonna have a word with imran this week see if he can get hold of it and stock it because i think if this is this good then maybe the um maybe the pure abrasives are going to be worth stocking as well you know um, yeah, very impressed with that, though. Very impressed. Okay, guys, I'm just thinking aloud. Take care, and I shall see you soon. Was I when